On this episode of the Whiskey Tornado, we review a rare bottle. It's Smoke Wagon's limited release, Winter Oak Bourbon. Winter Oak is a blend of bourbons sourced from MGP or Ross and Squibb. The blend is comprised of 20% 11-year bourbon, 26% 9-year bourbon, 13% 7-year bourbon, and 41% 5-year bourbon. There are 1,527 bottles, and the proof comes in at 115.94. All right, guys, with all that being said, let's get a pour and get into this review. We're going to nose it and taste it for you guys. Now, as you heard in the intro, there's only about 1,527 bottles of these. So I know this is a rare bourbon, but the reason I review rare bottles for you guys is so that if you happen to see a bottle in a bar, you'll know whether to buy a pour of it or not. Now, this is the uh, first rare and limited release Smoke Wagon has done in quite some time. So I was excited to get my hands on a bottle and let's get into this one. We're gonna nose it, taste it. I'll tell you about the finish and then we'll break down the review later. Here we go. Oh, the nose is absolutely fantastic. Lots of caramel, dark cherries, really like pops out of the glass, but without ethanol, it just, it just smells very, um, very concentrated. Cinnamon. Pralines, you know, you get that. I get that a lot with MGP bourbon. Those like, uh, those like cinnamon sugar roasted pralines or cashews you get at like Christmas fairs. That is all over this. A little bit of like cream corn note to it. There's a little bit of grain. Hmm, dustiness. But, I mean, you smell this, you know you're getting into a good bourbon. Um, I would put the nose at a 0.7. Uh, with a 0.5 being an average score if you're new to the channel. All right, let's get into the palate. Cheers, everybody. Mm. I'm liking that. Really nice. Cinnamon, that nuttiness, honey. Um, comes across as MGP-esque, but, but definitely some more age than what you're used to uh, with a lot of MGP source products that you taste. Um, and this is like, it's got 20% of an 11 year, uh, of 11 year MGP barrels. So that definitely comes through on the palate. Let me take another sip here. Yeah, cinnamon, nuttiness, honey. Honestly, if I tasted this blind, I would swear to you that this was an Elijah Craig barrel proof. Um, at 115 proof. It tastes a lot like Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, but a lot easier to drink. It has all that MGP goodness that you love and, uh, and, and brands like um, Nashville Barrel Company, who does just an amazing job of, of, of sourcing and aging MGP barrels. Um, I've had some Nashville Barrel Company picks that I just absolutely go crazy over, and those are only like five, six years old. This reminds you of that, um, probably I've had some Nashville barrels that are better than this. Honestly, I not, not probably I have, I've had Nashville barrels. I think that are better than this at five years. Um, but that's not to say this isn't good. This is still a really good blend. Has all that cinnamon nuttiness, honey, really well-rounded, but with just the perfect amount of cinnamon spice and a long finish. I love the palette on this. I'm gonna give it exceptional. I'm gonna give the palette a 0.8. Maybe gone to the finish. The finish is long and spicy. I love it, but not too spicy. Sometimes with those Elijah Craig Barrel Proof or Stag Jr. That, that's so concentrated that you love, it just kicks me around the room too much. Um, this is perfect. I love it. Um, we're gonna give the finish a 0.8 as well. All right, for all you nerds out there, let's break this bottle down. Our first two scoring categories are handicapped. Those are appearance and availability, and they get half the value of our normal categories. The appearance on Smoke Wagon Winter Oak is a one. It's absolutely beautiful. All of Smoke Wagon bottles get very high praises for me on appearance. The label's beautiful. The fact that you get a metal so that when you finish the bottle, you can keep the metal is an added bonus. Great job on the presentation. It's a one. The availability, unfortunately, is gonna be a zero because unless you have connections, 
you are not gonna find this bottle unless you happen to see it in a bar. The nose on this is fantastic with notes of caramel, dark cherry, cinnamon, pralines, cream corn. It gets a score of a 0.7. The palette moves into exceptional category with notes of cinnamon, nuttiness, honey, all the MGP goodness you love, and is Elijah Craig Barrel Proof-esque. It gets a score of a 0.8. The finish is long and spicy and also gets a score of 0.8. At 115 proof, the body is very nice, certainly better than average, and we're giving it a score of a 0.7. I was able to purchase this bottle for $150. However, I have seen secondary prices of excess of 800. So the value on this bottle, if bought at MSRP, I would give it a 0.3, being a little less than average, considering I can get Nashville Barrel Company releases that are quite frankly better than this and that brings our overall score for smoke wagon winter oak to a 3.8 making it bar worthy it's not into that bunker worthy category you know if this were a 80 dollar bottle of course that's probably what this should cost you is 80 dollars but if i saw it for 150 i would definitely pick it up as it makes a great conversational piece and it's so rare and collectible that i would definitely grab it for that price now, would I pay secondary prices for this? Absolutely not, it's just too much. If you want something that tastes similar and a little bit better, look for companies who source MGP that you really love, like Nashville Barrel Company. They do an absolutely fantastic job of getting great MGP barrels and making magic out of them. All right, guys, that does it for this review. If you like what you see on the channel and want to be part of our Barrel Pick Club, you can go to BarrelsForHope.com. All the proceeds of our Barrel Picks go back to charity. And if you'd like to just support the channel, support what we're doing here on Whiskey Tornado, you can join us on Patreon for as little as $2 a month. Until next time, cheers, everybody. Mm. That is beautiful. Beautiful. Not worth the coin, though.